Hey guys, welcome to my video. For today's tutorial, I will be teaching you how to make the corner to corner lemon peel stitch. To begin, all you're going to need is some yarn and a crochet hook. For this tutorial, you will need to know how to make chains, how to make the single crochet stitch, the double crochet stitch, the double crochet decrease, and be familiar with the lemon peel stitch. I have videos on all of those and I will have them listed down below. To start row one, you're going to make three chains. Into this third chain from your hook or the one farthest away, you're going to make a single crochet into that chain and a double crochet into that chain. To start row two, make two chains. Into the first stitch, which is a previous double crochet, make a single crochet. Into this next stitch, which is a previous single crochet, make a double crochet. Into this chain two space at the end of your row, make a single crochet into that space and a double crochet together in that space. To start your increase row, make two chains. So if you're familiar with the lemon peel stitch, it's just alternating between making single crochets and double crochets. So into this first stitch of our row, we're going to make a single crochet. Into the next stitch, double crochet. Into the next stitch, single crochet. Into the next stitch, double crochet. When you get to the end of your row, you're going to have this chain two space. Into this chain two space, make a single crochet and a double crochet together in that space. So you're now going to continue making increase rows for how wide you want your square. I'm going to continue on and come back for our next row, which is going to be the transition row. So I ended up making 10 increase rows total. I'm now ready to make my transition row. To begin your transition row, make one chain. We're now going to make a single crochet, double crochet, decrease. I'm going to show you how to make that. Insert your hook into the first stitch. Grab that yarn you're working with. Pull it through, pulling up a loop. Yarn over your hook one time. Insert your hook into the next stitch. Grab that yarn you're working with, pull it through, pulling up a loop. You'll have four loops. Yarn over, take that through two loops. You'll have three loops left. Yarn over, take that through all three loops. And that's going to be that single crochet plus double crochet decrease. We're now going to continue our row making single crochets, double crochets, single crochets, double crochets until we reach the last stitch of our row and the two chains at the end of our row. So once you get to the end of your row, you're going to make that same single crochet plus double crochet decrease into the last stitch and this chain two space at the end of your row. So you're going to insert your hook into the last stitch, 
grab that yarn you're working with, pull it through, pulling up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook into that chain two space, grab that yarn you're working with, pull it through, pulling up a loop, you'll have four loops, yarn over, take that through two loops, you'll have three loops left, yarn over, take that through all three loops to make that single crochet, double crochet decrease. And that is how our transition row is looking. Okay, we're ready to start our decrease row. So to begin, you're gonna make one chain. Our decrease row is gonna start the same as our transition row. We're gonna make that single crochet, double crochet decrease. Insert your hook into the first stitch. Grab that yarn you're working with, pull it through, pulling up a loop, yarn over, Insert your hook into the next stitch, grab that yarn you're working with, pull it through, pulling up a loop. You'll have four loops on your hook, yarn over, take that through two loops. You'll have three loops left, yarn over, take that through three loops. Now you're going to begin making the single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet until you reach the last two stitches of your row. So I've now reached the last two stitches of my row and I'm going to make that single crochet, double crochet decrease. Insert your hook into the next stitch, grab that yarn you're working with, pull it through, pulling up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook into that last stitch, grab that yarn you're working with, pull it through, pulling up a loop, yarn over, take that through two loops, you'll have three loops left. Yarn over, take that through all three loops. And this is how our decrease row is looking. You're now going to repeat your decrease row until you reach the last row of your square. So I'm going to continue on making my decrease rows and I will come back to show you the last row. So I have made it to the last row of my square. You're going to start your last row by making one chain. So we're going to do the single crochet, double crochet decrease over the next two stitches. Insert your hook into the first stitch, grab that yarn you're working with, pull it through, pulling up a loop. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, grab that yarn you're working with, pull it through, pulling up a loop. Yarn over, take that through two loops. You'll have three loops left. Yarn over, take that through all three loops. And now you're just going to have one stitch left in your row and you're simply going to work one single crochet into that last stitch to complete your square. And that is going to be how to make the corner to corner lemon peel stitch. I will have all of the rows timestamped down below so they are easy to reference back to. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for more from me. You can follow me on all social media at crochet me lovely, all one word. Please leave me any feedback down below for future videos and tutorials that you would like to see. Thank you guys so much for being here and have a great day.